G'day team, we're back in the shed. And I know it's been a long time between beers, but I've been a busy man. This thing doesn't build itself, and I've been going hard. So this is where we last left off. We were trying to get the loom together, we'd made most of the frame, and try to piece together what we had remaining. We still hadn't mounted a rear axle, and that's a bit niggly. And we've come a long way since here, so I thought I'd run you through the whole story so you can see how it was built. So tuck in, grab a beer, have some popcorn, and we'll start it now. The axle, the wheels, brackets, gears, everything to go on it have arrived. So now, just gonna work out the where this is gonna mount, the axle, um, and the whole tube rear end, how that's gonna be bent up, make some plates up on the CNC machine, and then we can roll this thing around. So it's a pivotal moment, and I'm glad you're here for it. So here's the idea. Going to notch this so it sits off as far as it needs to sit off to make the, just so we get a chain length. Make some plates up here to mount the axle and then Bob's your uncle, she's done. It's, I'm getting better at bending. It's accurate, I like it. Maybe five mil off but I'm getting closer. And while I was down that end trying to fix up the rear axle and make it work, Otis was down the front making up this whole steering column and also jumped on the CNC plasma cutter and cut out the uh, handlebar mount which is also going to pick up our cluster. So while I'm going down the strip I can actually see what's going on. Revs and what have you. And after that it was all about putting this axle in, making sure it was central to the frame, level and rigid, strong, so it doesn't fall off while I'm going down the strip. And it looked great, and surprisingly quite easy. That's it, that's what it's going to look like. We've just got to make some plates to capture these. And we're off to the races. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, this is going to make up some pipes to come from here all the way to that main hoop that we put in, in front of the engine. So this is going to be picked up and be nice and strong. And after we had the whole axle mounted, the front all sorted, we could put it on the ground. And that was a huge moment for us. We've been working a lot to get to this point and it felt so good. Probably had a few too many beers that night, but look at us, rolling around, happy as Larry. We made it. We made this from scratch. Bloody stoked. This is what it's gonna look like a little bit faster. So I'm back in the shed on a Sunday, just getting it all cleaned up and painted, or ready for paint, um, before we go any further, because otherwise we're just going to keep adding stuff, we don't need to, it's just wait, but it's exciting. So I thought I'd do a bit of a run through of where we're at and what's going on. So here's our radiator mount, we got that sorted, all of our steering column, steering rack, everything, that's all sorted, coming through the whole frame, these side pods. Um, all of our gussets so need to give us a bit more strength. We've got our top motor mount here. Uh, more gussets coming through, playing with my new toy in there. We've got our axle mounts all welded in. Our bars to come right back to stiffen it right through to the front axle. So we've got strength all the way through the frame. The bottom frame, the exhaust mount, everything. Even uh, this is where the handlebars are going to go. And up here is where our cluster is going to... Um, Cluster's going to mount so I can see what I'm doing while I'm going down the strip. But yeah, that's where we're at. Um, and now I've just got to paint it up and get ready to wire it up, put the motor in, uh, clutch cables, brake lines, all that sort of stuff. And we'll be ready to take it down the track. So I'm going to paint it, put the axle on, and just get everything mounted basically. So by the end of the day, you'll be able to see it all painted. Beautiful. And this is the part we were so desperately waiting for. Tape everything up and give it a lick of paint and see how it's going to go. One of the comments in the YouTube channel was uh, paint it red, it'll go faster. So we did that. And we didn't even do it with a proper spray gun and a compressor. We thought we'd go a bit more Kiwi on a DIY style and paint it with red zinc it. And it came out pretty good. But after we'd painted it, we chucked the motor on, axle on, and started it. And here it is.
suck it in, boy. <laughs> <laughs> in the uh, speedo. <laughs> Perfect. The speedo is set to like 15 inch wheels, like 16 inch wheels. We've gone down to 11, so it doesn't, it's pretty irrelevant what shows on there. I was going 130 apparently. That's it, you're all caught up. Now that's left to do is change a 42 tooth rear sprocket to a 22 tooth. And according to the calculations, we should be able to get 130 kilometers an hour. So the next time you see this, it'll be a merry merry drag strip on the 15th. So I hope to see you all there. Wish me luck, I'm quietly shitting myself. Cheers team, get out of your head and into the shed. It's good for the soul. <laughs>